Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 31 of the Fiorentina Crimo. Today we are starting with trying to sign Casper Nielsen who is someone that, uh, what's his name, Max in the comments, I know your name bro, I know it, I'm going in for him, he suggested him to me, he also did suggest Callum Burton who I'm not too sure if we'll be going in for or not but we do start off going in for Jovetic, Van Persie, I think we're also going for Loic Remy as well and we do actually have the Copper Europe. No, it's not the Copa Europe. It's the Copa something final today against Juventus. So that's going to be the only game of today's episode. We did sim that game there against Espanyol. And I don't even know what the result was. I don't even give a crap because it was just a friendly. But anyway, it is quite a busy episode today. So hopefully you guys will be interested. We did offer 500k for Nielsen and they did accept straight away. And we will sign him up into the squad hopefully. Not too sure if he'll grow too much just because we are only here for one more season here. So this is the final season at Fiorentina and then we'll be moving to new pastures but we do go in for Loic Remy as kind of a replacement for Dybala who I, mean, I am trying to get rid of and we did have an offer of 17.5 million waiting on the table from Guanoa so I was tempted to actually go and accept that and we do end up accepting it and I just thought you know what I would rather take the money for him because no one's really interested in you know using him in a swap deal i.e. for Loic Remy or anyone like that so Dybala has now been sold and we will receive about £15 million for him which is great, that should fund the the like, Remy deal and I was trying to get Van Persie or um, Bravo, you know Bravo obviously the goalkeeper but it was a super copper, I'm not too sure if that is actually the name of it but it's the winners of the league and the domestic cup in Serie A so obviously we didn't win this, the, the domestic cup, we lost to Juventus which was the last game of the season I do believe so hopefully the first game of this season competitively we could try and win obviously playing Juventus it was going to be very difficult we do if we win this game well no we actually do have another game we have the Copa Europe final against Bayern Munich in the next episode as well so if you guys would like to see that as a live commentary I may do it I'm not too sure I do kind of prefer to do some of them live and some of them not just so we can get through the episodes and you know f you know th through the season in a reasonable time period because otherwise you know four or five episodes a season are going to be you know finals for competitions and stuff and obviously it wastes a lot of time as well so I'm not too sure yet if I'll do the Copa Europe final live this one though I did, did decide just to record because I wanted to get back into the transfer window and show you guys a bit of the transfer dealings but you can see we started off quite well against Juve here usually against Juventus we get absolutely pounded in the you know the first 20 or 30 minutes or so but in this game it wasn't to be the case and thanks to my friend Alan for lending me an Xbox controller because now I can actually you know record without getting issues with my stick so there's no more like dodgy stick drift or anything like that which is causing me to mess up so we're back to full swing now which is good everything seems to be going well and I'm just hoping we can win this game to be honest human son was playing alongside Giuseppe Rossi obviously after the sale of Paolo Dybala I completely forgot we brought in human son in episode 30 but we get off to a great start there just before half time Rossi our main man from last season hopefully will be just as affected this season does actually pick himself up a goal to put ourselves 1-0 in front and hopefully this was going to be you know the advantage that we needed against a team like Juventus they are so difficult to beat and you see in the second half the first chance fell to Juventus they crossed it in Giorgio Chiellini steps up rebounds off the post and does end up into the back of the net which was literally the second chance after that chance just before half time so unfortunately it was back to level pegging which was frustrating hopefully we could get another goal or even go to extra time which I would prefer rather than be knocked out in normal time it was proven to be difficult Alvaro Morata the ex Real Madrid man there nearly puts himself or puts his team 2-1 up against us but we were actually playing pretty well to be honest my defending wasn't too bad today which is a surprise because usually as you guys know it is absolutely horrific but you know we were actually doing quite well and I was really impressed with the team it was coming you know to the 90th minute here it looked like we were going to be going to extra time which was a little bit disappointing you know I would like to have won it in normal time but it was definitely looking like that wasn't going to be the case and we do indeed end up going in to extra time and to be honest extra time wasn't really that interesting Arturo Vidal there coming close with a header but we didn't really have any chances in you know extra time at all which was a little bit disappointing I always find if you get extra time it almost almost always guarantees a penalty shootout and it was looking like that was going to be the case in this game anyway 
We do get a chance here to try and get on the counter attack, but Juve were playing so well to give them credit where credit is due. And obviously they wanted to win it probably, if not even more than us. Obviously this will be our first trophy of the new season, which would be fantastic and it would be great to get it. We do end up going to penalties, which I was a little bit worried about, you know. Juventus do have a much better team than us and probably a lot more better penalty takers than us. So I was really worried. Rossi steps up to the spot and misses. And at that point I was literally cursing. I was like, oh God. You know, this is horrific. If we lose like this, it would be so bad. Arturo Vidal steps up. We do manage to catch it. He goes straight down the middle. And then we have Human Son, our new signing. Number 27 steps up and does put it past Gianluigi Buffon to make it one all. Obviously, we have missed. So, we need to try and save another one of their shots. Tevez down the middle again. So, it looked like Juventus were going for the tactic of down the middle. From the penalty sport. Borja Valera steps up. A very nice penalty down the middle. Quite a lot of power. And he does make it 2-1 to one to us. Which is fantastic. Marquisio steps up. And I wasn't too sure where he was going. But he ended up chipping it down the middle. So that's three penalties out of three for Juventus. That they've gone straight down the middle. Which is quite strange actually. But Kar Kar is it Karim Babakar? I don't quite know his first name. He steps up and scores as well. And Mauricio, I think it is. Is Isla? Isla steps up and... Cost still does well to save it, and we do win 3-1 on penalties, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is our first trophy of the new season, guys, which is really, really good. Obviously, the board didn't really expect us to win it, but we've won it anyway, so that's really good to know. And unfortunately, we don't really get much money, or if any money, actually, for doing it. But we do have obviously have the Copy Europe final, which is the first game in the next episode, and that'll be our chance to pick up two trophies at the start of the season. Which will be really good, although we do face Bayern Munich, so that's going to be something, you know, very difficult to do anyway. And I might just play it off camera, you know, in the sense that I won't do it live, just for the fact I want to try and win it, I'm not too sure yet. We do jump back into the transfers, and Bravo did accept, or Barcelona accepted, and we do go through to the contract, which is fantastic. Hopefully he'll accept pretty quickly, and Kasper Nielsen as well does accept, and he does come in to the team, which is fantastic. Man United, the Van Persie deal... I wanted Van Persie just because he was a bit older and he might grow a little bit more if we use him. But unfortunately, we're not going to be getting him. And he, he is a snake anyway, so we're not going to be going for him because he's an absolute cunt. But Remy was proving a pain as well. But good news coming in that Claudio Bravo had accepted his contract. And that is cost still gone. And we have replaced him with Bravo. Hopefully, we finally have found our goalkeeper because we've gone through NATO to Costil to Bravo in a season. So... Unfortunately for me, Costil just made a lot of mistakes, and Bravo is an 83 rated goalkeeper. He's got much better stats than Costil, so I would imagine him to be a lot better, but we will we, we'll wait and see. And Remy did, well, Chelsea accepted, and the contract of Remy was proving to be a little bit of a bastard. He really wanted more money, and I was quite kind of annoyed because we didn't really have much money to be playing with. You know, this would be most likely our final signing of the summer transfer window, and I offered him 120k with a 20% bonus and crucial. But I offered it on, I think it was two years, and he didn't want it. So I did actually just go and resubmit the same offer eventually. And you will see what happens with that. But first, we do go in for Danny Welbeck. Unfortunately, Arsenal, I didn't really know how much he was valued at. So I chucked in a £15 million pound, or €50 million Euros even bid, and they rejected it straight up. And Remy, I just decided to go in one more time with the exact same offer as last time, just to see if the game was being a bit of a retard or not. And thankfully, the game was being a bit of a retard because we do actually end up signing Remy and he accepts his contract, even though we had to give him an extra 10,000. I think it will be worth it. And I didn't really have any other strikers that, you know, I wanted to sign at that particular moment. So it was very good that Remy did accept. But as you can see, guys, in the next episode, that will be the game that we play Bayern versus Fiorentina in the Copy Europe final. If you have enjoyed this episode, guys, if we could smash over five likes, that would be absolutely awesome. If you, haven't, if you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel. There is a button down below. It's completely free. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode very soon.